Hey everybody, welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead. So today we're going to be talking about some pests in our garden. And we're going to primarily, I'm going to be talking about um, like insects and that sort of thing. Now I noticed on my gooseberries the other day that I've got um, some aphids on them now. And I battled the aphids last year. And so... I was doing some research now you'll notice I've got ban little banana peels hanging from my um, some of my gooseberries I didn't I only ate one banana and I peeled I like um, peeled off little sections kind of like string cheese I guess you could say uh, some sections are a little bigger than others but I've kind of just kind of draped it on my gooseberry bushes and the reason why I did this is because banana peels have um, a not just not it it has a, a, a repellent built in naturally to it uh, a lot of times you'll go and you'll google things and you'll search things up and the if it comes up with using banana pills as pesticide they'll be most of the articles you're going to find you guys are going to be talking about how banana pills have pesticides on them that they spray them to kill the bugs on them but actually what I'm talking about is a um, enzyme that is naturally in banana peels themselves, not just like what the pesticides that um, are sprayed onto them commercially. S this enzyme that is in banana peels is also in, um, I think, kiwis and strawberries and I think um, possibly even orange pills. I could be, cr I could be wrong. And you can correct me if you like. Um, however, there might be more um, fruits out there. Oh, avocados is another one. Um, and so basically, these all have this enzyme in them, you guys. And it is called chitin, chitinase. It's uh, C-H-I-T-I-N-A-S-E, I believe is how it's uh, spelled. Um, I could be incorrect, but I think that's how it's spelled. And it's an enzyme. And um, aphids and um, exoskeleton type bugs um, are pests that um, plague our um, our bushes and our like our like like my gooseberries and like my um, other different types of plants. Um, they get just get infiltrated with all these little bugs. Well. Uh, apparently these bugs have their exoskeletons are chitin c-h-i-t-i-n and the chitinase from the banana pills this natural occurring enzyme in banana pills and other things is um, actually breaks down and dissolves those exoskeletons and kills the soft bodied um, pest as well and so um, I was googling and I saw a forum where somebody was talking about how they had put banana pills and hung them from their tree and somebody said oh maybe um, you know there was all these different theories as to why it why the aphids didn't stick around and they left their um, their tree or whatever and I um, they just didn't know this was like an art um one of those answer question forums um back in like 2009 and i don't believe the guy ever knew at least not at that point he might have figured it out later on but it is this particular chitinase um enzyme that is in the um the bananas themselves now what i'm planning on doing is i'm planning on creating a banana pill tea where um, I've got a whole bunch of bananas in the house and it's good to eat the fruit and get fruit in your body so I figured I might as well get some get some bananas and make some banana tea with the banana skins and um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put banana peels into a jar a glass jar and I'm gonna fill it with water and I'm gonna let it set for like a week or so and um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it as a fertilizer because not only does it have this chitinase in it naturally, you guys, but it also has potassium and magnesium 
in the banana pills, which is really, really good um, natural fertilizer and, and a gentle fertilizer the way that it's created, you know, for your plants. So it's going to promote healthy growth as well. But what's going to happen is this special bug repellent, chitinase enzyme, is going to soak in through the roots of your plants and it's going to go up through the roots into the leaves and it's like you know a bad smell to us um like to the bugs that is so any like image picture like in your own mind the worst smell you could possibly conceive smelling and you're just completely just like you lost your appetite you don't want to have anything to do with it and you just go away well that's what chitinase is like for many soft-bodied bugs they smell it they're not going to want to mess with your plant and so I'm planning on doing this. Now there's other ways that you can incorporate um, this uh, enzyme into your, um, into your gardening. And um, I'm testing it out with the banana pills because I saw somebody mention this in a forum. And with the knowledge that I had just acquired by searching it on um, Googling it and that sort of thing and figuring out that that's what it was and then seeing this guy say he didn't understand why the... Um, they were these certain bugs were staying away might attract other bugs but um the ones that are sucking our plants that's what we want to get rid of um so another way that you can get um the chitinase into your gardening and up through the roots is through worm castings you guys so say you've got a worm bin and you give them all uh like certain um foods to break down and um different plant material and stuff like that, um, worms will actually create this chitinase in their gut because that's what breaks down. They eat like the dead bugs and that sort of thing. So they will actually eat bugs and they their stomachs actually create this enzyme inside of the worms that breaks down those exoskeletons. So say you're wanting to, um, you know, f feed your worms dead bugs their bodies will absorb those and create this enzyme and that enzyme inside of the worms is what breaks down um the um those bugs so when the the fertilizer comes out of the worms the new um worm castings aka i call it special dirt um <clears throat> basically what you're going to do is you're going to you can create you can use that mix it in with your soil for a really excellent soil um and, and your compost and that sort of thing or you can make a compost tea from these um from these worm castings now you can also not only just feed them bugs the worms bugs but you can also put in like say your banana pills other things that have the chitinase in them already which will actually enhance everything um so I think it's really awesome and so you just make a worm casting tea and you pour that in. it's going to be a little bit more concentrated um, from the worms that is because everything that's coming out of the worm is coming from the worm's gut so you're going to have a nice concentration of that chitinase um, enzyme and so um, right now I'm just experimenting on a couple of my gooseberries some of the ones that had a little bit more um, you can really tell when they start getting your um, your leaves they start looking all curled over like this and if you look underneath there's all kinds of little green soft-bodied um, they're all up in there you guys so I'm hoping that these banana pills one fell on the banana peel it's all blurry sorry about that one just fell on the banana peel and it's not liking it you guys so I'm hoping that these banana pills will kind of like chase them away from my bush without me having to do too much yet but within this week I am planning on um, giving my roots a soaking of a banana tea that I create with these banana pills and some people actually use banana pills to create a banana tea for themselves because it also helps with sleep and promotes sleep so um banana pills are really great in your garden you guys and they've I mean, not only the tea is also going to be so great because of all the fertilization that it's going to give um, to my, my bushes and that sort of thing and help them grow big and strong. So um, just some food for thought, you guys. Um, you're going to start looking at banana pills in a completely different way now. And um, you guys, thank you so much for coming over to my um, my YouTube channel today. 
comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys know about it. I know there's so many other fruits and vegetables that you can use um, in order to um, access this chitinase enzyme. And so um, let's try to, I try to grow organic. You guys, I encourage everybody to try to grow organic. Um, I did spray my bushes with the neem oil last week, but it, apparently I didn't do it in time. Apparently I should have been spraying, like, say, um, just before the buds opened. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, I want to do something that's more effective. And I have a feeling that um, something with the chitinase enzyme in it is going to be probably the most effective thing I could use on my gooseberry bushes. And even my ribes, um, you can use them on your rose bushes and all of that too, you guys. So anything where aphids are attracted to your plant, try to you know try this let me know how it works if you're to, if you're going to try it too but um i haven't um tried it fully yet this is my experiment with just hanging some banana peels on my plants um that has shown effective for some people as well by chasing away the soft-bodied critters um and so i encourage you guys um to give it a go and give it a shot so comment like and subscribe let me know your thoughts and um um that sort of thing on this and um Click that bell button and I'll see you guys in another video. You guys have a wonderful day and God bless. Bye.